Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the mask mockup in Photopea. First, go to photopea.com, P H O T O P E A.com in any web browser. I'm using Google Chrome just because it works a little faster than Safari. So, if you're having any trouble with your web browser, you might want to try Google Chrome. And once Photopea loads, we'll just double click Open from Computer to open up the mockup. And then we'll find the mockup. And once it loads, we're going to be doing our work in this handy layers panel right here. So if you don't see the layers panel, you're going to be going up to this window menu right here, and then clicking on it and scrolling down and clicking on layers. And that'll bring up the layers panel if you don't see it. And once the mock uploads, just click the arrow next to mask to expand that layer group. And then click the arrow next to this mask layer group to expand that. And then you'll see this layer that says design dash mask. Uh, just double click the thumbnail icon. And that'll bring up a smart object where you can copy and paste your design. So we'll go to file open. And we will find the mask design. And then we'll just copy and paste that by going to select all, then edit, copy. And then we'll click back on the smart object tab and we'll go to edit, paste. I'm just gonna press command minus to zoom out or it would be control minus on a PC. And then to resize this if you need to, just hold down the shift key to keep it proportional and click on any of the four corners and just drag. You can also click in the center here and uh, move it if you need to. And when you've got that size, just go to File, Save Smart Object. And that's going to say the smart object and it'll let you know when it's updated. And then you can just click the X and close the smart object and your original graphics. And you'll see it put the design on the mask just like that. You can also change the color of the trim and the mask. So to do that, just click double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash layer. And that should bring up the color picker. If it instead brings up, you know, the info or properties menu, then uh, make sure the properties tab is selected and click layer and then double click the color fill swatch here and that'll bring up the color picker. And once the color picker is up, you can just click anywhere in the rainbow slider to change the color and then click in this gradiated box to change the lightness and darkness of that color. Or you could enter in values if you know them. And I'm just gonna click in this hex box and drag to select the number. And then I'm gonna press Command C on a Mac or it'd be Control C on a PC to copy that. And then we can just repeat the same steps um, I'll show you how to change the color of the whole mask. So you'll just double click the thumbnail icon in this color dash mask layer. And we're going to click in the box next to hex and drag to select that number and then press command V to paste it. Or you could press control V on a PC. And you'll see if I click the eye icon I can hide the design and now the whole mask is blue. can also adjust the shading on the mask. To do that, just click the eye icon next to the more shading layer. And that'll turn that on. 
and then you can click on the more shading layer and then click the down arrow next to opacity and you can drag the slider to the right or the left to make the shading either dark or more subtle usually this might be needed if you have like a really dark or bold design you can also adjust the shadows underneath the mask by clicking the arrow next to mask shadows and then clicking on the shadow <clears throat> and then clicking on the down arrow next to opacity and just dragging the slider again and depending on which mock-up you purchase you may have different backgrounds so you can just kind of select which one you want by clicking the arrow next to backgrounds and then just turning eye icons on and off by clicking on them. And uh, that's all there is to editing the mask mockup in Photopea. Now you just want to save it. So we'll go to File, Export as JPEG to save it as a thumbnail for use on websites like Etsy. You could also come back here and go to File, Save as PSD, and save a layered PSD file with your design in it. Please let me know if you have any questions by messaging me at melissabmockups.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.